Hi there, let's set up a public Minecraft SMP. And the best part is it's free because we're using our own computer. So we're gonna use the Minecraft server paper. So you can find the link in the description and I'm just gonna go ahead and download it. And then first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this newly downloaded file into its own directory. So I'm gonna find a nice place for it. In my case, the C directory. I'm gonna create a folder called minecraft-server. And go ahead and copy that there. And then I'm gonna create a new file called run run.bat. And yes, I do want to change the file type. Then I'm going to edit it. I'm going to copy this text from our guide. Go ahead and paste that. And then I'm going to copy the name of the file that we downloaded. And I'm going to replace paper.jar there with that. Great. So I'm going to go double click our run.bat file. And if you double click it and opens up in the text editor, you're going to want to follow our guide and make it a batch file which you can uh, find this link in the description of the video also. So it uh, will have generated a few files for us. We're gonna go ahead and edit the EULA and we're gonna say true. So this is accepting Minecraft or Microsoft's EULA. Um, so you're abiding by the rules of the game. And then we're gonna run the run.bat file again. And then now this is actually going to launch our server. So if we go to our Minecraft and then we direct connect and do localhost we can see we can connect it to our server. However, our server is not public yet. So we're gonna use a free tool called play it. So I'm gonna go here and type playit.gg. And all I have to do is download it and then run it. Cool, so if you have an account, you can sign in, but you probably don't. So I'm gonna say create an account and then I'll just use a guest account. Okay. Uh, so we've downloaded the thing, we've entered the code apparently, um, and then we just have to wait for it to connect, which can take a few seconds, but there we go. So the play it program is set up. All we have to do next is create a tunnel. So I'm gonna select the tunnel type Minecraft Java, press add tunnel, and we'll give this another few seconds. There we go. So we got a new address and this is your public address. So when you have the play it program running, it will be, it, it will offer this address that you can use to connect to your Minecraft server. So let's go to give it a try. So let's direct connect. Let's paste that in there. And we can connect just like that. So that's how to make your, uh, your Minecraft server public and how to create it to begin with. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please uh, post them in the comments. And uh, if this worked for you, please, uh, it helps a lot to give a thumbs up and subscribe.